hello everybody this is rudra pradhan here and welcome to welcome you all to this particular lecture we are in the process of discussing introduction to business analytics and this is the lecture number 2 and here we are going going to discuss uh, something related to same introduction to business analytics so this this is again our course plan and we are still in the first week and uh, the lecture highlights will be like this and today we are going to discuss the trends of business analytics frameworks of business analytics stepwise process then we like to understand the difference between analytics and non analytics and then again we connect it with some kind of you know business applications so what we have already discussed you know uh, so for the trend trends in business analytics are concerned so we have you know uh, we have actually uh, diagnostic analytics descriptive analytics then predictive analytics and prescriptive analytics so now technically so uh, in the earlier uh, you know lectures we highlighted actually three kind of you know classifications so first classification was the descriptive one that is descriptive analytics the second classification was predictive analytics and the third classification was you know prescriptive analytics but actually if you look into our you know uh, core structures so we have actually different kind of you know uh, classification slightly different in fact descriptive analytics inferential analytics predictive analytics prescriptive analytics and decision analytics so now accordingly so here we will have a different uh, approach altogether so that means these are all actually in a, a, you know all all together in a similar lines but still we like to highlight in a much better way so uh, uh, actual the classification is like this so we have a structure called as a diagnostic analytics then we will start with the descriptive analytics then inferential analytics predictive analytics and prescriptive analytics so the first structure is actually called as a diagnostic analytics by default here we don't use any kind of you know analytical tools but still we like to understand the particular you know structure so uh, the fact is like this until unless you know some problems or you know some issues we are actually not serious every time so we will actually serious in most of the time when there is a kind of you know issue that's that's what we call as actually like you know uh, uh, market information so some t kind of you know shocks or some kind of you know uh, problems so something going wrong or something going other way around then that will be that will be the starting point through which you actually you look look into the problem and look for uh, looking for uh, identifying the problem and looking for the solutions so that is how so first uh, first item in the analytics field is called as you know diagnostic analytics so it will give you some kind of you know a hint that's called as the root of the uh, root of the problems where it starts actually that means like you know we we think like you know it's like you know smog once you find some kind of you know smog then you like to start the investigation until unless uh, uh, you know there is smog so you are not in a uh, position to go in depth and you know uh, uh, or uh, use some kind of an analytics so it is a kind of you know investigation process altogether since we are going to take some kind of you know management decision that to better management decision and that to some uh, uh, through some kind of you know business analytics tools so you you should know actually the reality the, the reality is like this so there should be some kind of you know smoke or some kind of you know hint some kind of you know uh, you know kind of you know uh, different kind of you know information or issue then that is the starting point through which you know uh, we can start the particular process uh, the the starting may be means the smoke or the hint or the kind of you know information may be at the micro level so or at the macro level sometimes you know at a you know particular organization level it may be uh, it may be the issue or at the uh, overall economy level or you know world levels it will be a kind of you know issue like you know simple example is you know global financial crisis uh, happened you know uh, you know 2009 so like you know these are the uh, kind of you know uh, 
you know point through which uh, something you can think differently. And uh, 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 in this kind of you know, environment, business analytics uh, you know has a excellent uh, you know kind of an excellent role. So or you know uh, important roles. So 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 the first uh, requirement to entry to this particular problem is in, uh, you know to get some kind of you know market information or you know specify the kind of you know problem area. So in a particular business or in a particular you know environment business environment you may have a plenty of problems and uh, sometimes this some problems are readily visible some problems are not readily visible and if some problems are readily visible so then you know you can you know try to target as per the requirement or some uh, with respect to some of the constraints or you know important but when there is a kind of you know issue big issue or you know uh, big kind of you know or in finance we call as you know shock right so when there is a kind of you know big shock so you cannot just see it then you have to you have to come forward and you know uh, solve uh, immediately this particular problem because you know uh, this is very important uh, without you know uh, such solutions uh, the entire things will be going in a different way. So, that is how you know uh, we are here to discuss some of the business analytics. So, how quickly you can get a solution when there is some kind of you know uh, problems uh, uh, solid problem or you know emergence problem. <laughs> so, that is why so the first uh, first item is nothing but called as a diagnostic analytics here we are not actually using any kind of you know statistical tools or you know quantitative tools but we like to just understand the uh, issue uh, how it happens you know like you know we are uh, we are uh, we like to address uh, you know questions like this why did it happen so that means something going wrong that's why we are you know uh, we are in a position to investigate why did it happens how did it happens in what scenario uh, how, uh, how you know uh, how much in a, in a kind of you know uh, degree so these are the things uh, you know you have to you know uh, first you know understand then the that will give you some kind of you know starting to go into the uh, reality or you know as per the requirement so basically actually in management language or some kind of you know business language so it is co simply called as you know market information so some kind of you know market you know it may be going very up or very going down so okay okay it may be very positive news or it may be having some kind of you know negative news but in any context some issues are you know there and as a result we are in a process of you know some kind of you know significant you know invest investigation and uh, there itself so business analytics uh, you know uh, having a important roles then uh, the next structure is actually descriptive analytics so once you understand uh, uh, the problem is going on or it is happen so then next question is uh, uh, actually what is happening so that means the standard reporting so uh, so once the issue is there like you know some uh, like you know let's say there is a accident right so when there is a kind of an accident that means it is the problem now so now we have to start the investigation how it happened you know what are the ways you have to check and then what should be the future forecasting what should be the kind of an you know, optimum strategy through which you can control this kind of you know uh, you know problem or you know issues so uh, you know what i can say that you know this is how the kind of you know uh, 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 you know environment through which you have to start the process take the initiative and then looking for the best solutions and that to ask for the uh, particular requirement so so in the descriptive analytics the standard structure is like this we we are uh, like we like to address like this what is exactly happening that is the standard reporting uh, how many how often where that means it is kind of you know ad hoc reporting then uh, what exactly the problems so that means you know we like to you know investigate in fact a little bit you know in depth right so first hint that is what it's called as a diagnostic analytics then descriptive analytics little bit you know you know upper hand investigations like you know how what when kind of you know things these are all things we have to first you know uh, streamline so that means it is basically actually if you summarize these two it's basically the information analysis and decision so now so this is what actually happened then now little bit you know uh, understanding about this particular you know happening then we are looking for now uh, or we are in the search process to take a decision what should uh, what should we take the you know step future step and how we have to optimize the particular you know structure whether it's a 
kind of you know with a positive interest or you know negative interest, but we need some kind of you know decision without such decision you are not in a position to solve this problem. So, that is how so, uh, so we have to we have to look into this particular structure and then uh, think about the uh, solution. So, the third third particular structure is called as a predictive analytics. So, this is a little bit you know more advanced again. So, that means it is the degree of search process. So, slightly you little bit hint then little bit understanding then little bit in depth then you go actually degree of you know in depth search what this is how the beauty of the a component called as a business analytics. Once you understand all you know uh, once you look into this you know process then automatically so you will you will get some kind of you know better insights and with the you know better insights you can you can come with you know better decisions ok. So, that is what actually we need and what is our you know a requirement. So, the predictive analytics basically addressing couple of questions like the previous ones uh, diagnostic analytics and pre, uh, uh, you know uh, uh, descriptive analytics. So, here the questions will be ad address we like to address here what actions are required, what could happen, what if the trend continues, what will happen the next. So, these are all actually interesting. Now, this is actually the search process, this is the actual search process and here the analytics plays you know very interesting rules. Earlier you know just you know little bit you know hint then little bit understanding about the particular you know problem, but in the predictive analytics is the heart of the business analytics. So, before that uh, you know we have a, a diagnostic and predict, uh, you know descriptive then predictive analytics will give you or you know prepares a kind of you know path it will give you some kind of you know uh, stability kind of you know structure through which uh, the uh, past can be connected that is the uh, diagnostic and descriptive analytics can be connected and this is the path through which actually prescriptive analytics can be also uh, connected properly. So, that is how here you, you have to understand very carefully. So, in the predictive analytics and then you are supposed to address all these questions and then accordingly so you have to understand the business analytics. So, that means for the first questions which we have already raised called as what actions are required so, this kind of you know uh, it is kind of you know warning actually alerts right. So, uh, what could happen? So, that is what you know uh, it is kind of you know what could happen means it is if the a kind of you know structure continues then it is a kind of you know process of simulation. Then what if the trend continues that is what we call as actually a forecasting right. So, that means the whole idea is you know having the kind of you know hint having the kind of you know uh, de descriptive analytics. So, you are in a position to find out a a trend and that to in predictive analytics you are in a position to find out that particular trend. So, once you find out the trend that is what actually called as a forecastings. So, that will be through that trend you can actually predict. So, you know whether it is a increasing trend or decreasing trend or it is a kind of you know uh, constant. So, whatever may be the kind of you know structure. So, uh, so the predictive analytics will give you a kind of you know path through which you know future can be predicted so, or you know we can go for you know future forecasting. Then the next question will be what will happen the next that means that is what actually predictive modeling. So, that means the heart of this business analytics is the nothing but called as a you know predictive modeling. So, now when you will go for you know predictive modeling so that means so we have actually we have actually the actual trend and then predictive analytics will give you the uh, you know exact required trend then you know uh, that is what actually the predictive modeling then that means technically so now you have a predicted lines or you know predicted kind of you know uh, informations so now actual information and predicted informations then you will you will get a particular you know structure so now that particular structures you need to be uh, optimized further and that to prescriptive analytics you know uh, plays a, a kind of you know interesting rules. So, now in the prescriptive analytics again we have to address couple of questions because these analytics are you know applied to uh, you know address the questions only that means it it is nothing but to investigate and gain get some kind of you know inference. So, of, of course, the degree of inference or the degree of structure is the different from you know starting with the descriptive analytics to predictive analytics and prescriptive analytics. So, the standard questions which we like to address here in the case of prescriptive analytics is like this, how can we achieve the best outcome? Since we have already have the kind of you know particular structures, 
So, now the first structure here we have like to address is the uh, 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 best solution or you know best outcomes in the process of you know optimization. But the, I like to tell you that you know uh, the particular analytics uh, uh, whether you know predictive analytics or you know prescriptive analytics it will give you some kind of you know <laughs> optimality with you know uh, with all possible alternatives right. So, so we, we can you know we can fit a kind of you know structure through which you know uh, we can find out some of the uh, alternatives and then within the particular uh, you know possible alternatives we have to find out the best alternatives that is how uh, you know vision analytics can uh, you know uh, can give you know better kind of you know understanding and better kind of you know decision then the second similar kind of you know problem which you can address in the prescriptive analysis here, how can we achieve the best outcome with respect to you know uh, effects of variability like you know stochastic optimizations for example right so that means we are living in the real life scenario so, with the given situation, given you know kind of you know conditions and constraints, so we are in a position to fix a particular model and get some kind of you know output or you know decisions. But you know over the time, this uh, this cannot be actually just you know uh, you know simulated or you know it can be just you know uh, copied and you know continue. But you know uh, since uh, there are lots of dynamics with respect to change of you know constraints or something like that. So, oh, so the predictive analytics can help you lot to fix all these kind of you know obstacles and then come come to a particular you know optimum decision. So, in all total, so the analytics with the help of you know uh, uh, descriptive analytics, predictive analytics, and prescriptive analytics, I am very sure we can solve a, a you know business problems and that too we uh, we can you know come with a better management decision as per the particular you know requirement. So, that means, here uh, if you summarize it is the game between you know information and analysis and then the decision. So, we start with some kind of you know problem hint then in collection of information analyzing the information then get some kind of you know inference the, uh, or you know insights uh, and finally, you come to uh, you know kind of you know conclusion or you know better decisions. So, in, in short, so analytics excellence leads to better decisions. If you choose better technique, better analytics and understand the problem perfectly and uh, uh, use the data uh, properly or effectively, then I am very sure a decision cannot be uh, other way around. We, you can definitely get a better decisions if your structure and you know understanding or the choice of technique is a very very perfect ones right this is how you have to proceed i will give you some kind of you know structure here so so just to you know uh, uh, you know connect with all these techniques but you know of course we have discussed the diagnostic analytics but this is not actually the kind of you know investigation process this will give you just simple kind of you know smoke so where to start actually the uh, or where you have to start the kind of you know initiative so here the three most important is called as you know descriptive predictive and prescriptive and these are the actually uh, items which are you know supposed to address during you know uh, during mm -hmm. the analytical process so now here actually the thing is like this you know it is kind of in a degree of you know uh, in depth search but uh, if i if, if i put in a other you know other different way so what happened how many what exactly what actions what could happen what if the trend continue what will happen next if something going in kind of you know uh, change that's what we call as you know robustness checks so that is how the trend is like this so that means it it, it is the you know structure is like you know in depth in depth in depth in depth and then get the kind of you know insights until unless you go in depth in depth in depth you are you will not in a position to get better and better and better insights so that's why in order to go in depth in depth in depth search so you are supposed to know in depth in depth analytical tools so we have actually simple analytical tools complex analytical tools so again within this impulse we have a lots of variety within a complexity complex kind of analytics we have a variety so, uh, how best you can understand all these tools, how, how best you can you know connect these tools with you know softwares and how, how best you can actually uh, connect with the computer based models or you know kind of you know programming. So, that you know the things can be 
more attractive as per the requirement and you are always in a better position to take you know good decision and that to as per the management requirement. So, that means, it is actually very challenging task kind of you know things, it is altogether excellent challenging process. So, altogether uh, we have actually two different uh, uh, structure and then uh, the information technology can added as a you know third important factor in the particular you know business analytic process. So, that means, actually business analytics altogether has the connection between you know statistical tools, optimization tools and then the computer computer based kind of you know information systems that is you know you can say that you know business intelligence. So, now uh, so here some of the tools like you know statistic, descriptive, inferential statistics, forecasting, models etcetera, then a quantitative tools simulations, uh, optimizations and then modeling and similarly information system for you know business intelligence that is big data, small data, data mart, spreadsheet, modeling these are you know things which you are you know uh, you know frequently highlighted uh, in the course of you know business analytics. Let me give you a better structure here what exactly the uh, business analytics framework. So, it is actually uh, what I mentioned very beginning that you know in the first lecture that you know it is a multi dimensional concept altogether. Uh, uh, we just like to integrate few things and you know just like you know what you can call as you know it is nothing but call as innovations uh, you know in some some are the things are there just you are connecting then you are creating a new kind of you know, environment or new kind of you know process through which you know get better inference or you know better decisions. So, three things are which I have already highlighted the statistics sites, quantity method sites, then information system for you know business intelligence. So, now we have actually some kind of you know, uh, kind of cross correlations among these you know items. So, how best we can actually connect properly as per the business requirement that is the beauty of this particular you know subject or what you can call as you know business analytics. Uh, so, far as you know uh, search process is concerned uh, to get a uh, to get a better management decision it is in fact you know continuous process altogether. Like you know what I mentioned you know it is a, a starting with you know diagnostic analytics that is just to get some kind of you know hint smoke or something like that. Then you know start you know uh, connecting with the descriptive analytics to, an, uh, to understand little bit much uh, you know higher. Then uh, through predictive analytics or you know prescriptive analytics you will get some kind of you know better decisions or you know uh, best decisions. So, but this particular process cannot be static it is a continuous process because some of the things in the real life scenario or you know business environments are very dynamic with respect to change of the you know environment. So, you have to actually you know connect uh, accordingly you know we frequently you know take care of all these changes through uh, robustness and through sensitivity analysis. Uh, analysis. So, we will discuss details all these in the later stage, but this is how the particular process is you know kind of you know continuous manner. So, now starting with you know you know every problem you know or every investigation starts with you know some kind of you know identification or you know hint or you know issue uh, or you know debate or you know uh, so kind of you know things. So, something uh, what we call you know start the process or you know start the actions then the investigation you know or search process will start like this. So, so hint most so this will be the route and through which how it happen what what should be exactly the kind of you know, uh, you know solution or what should be the possible solution. So, hint should be fast actually that is what actually called as a problem identification or you know problem recognition. So, once you do that then the flow will be move like this. So, review of you know previous findings. So, that means, uh, obviously, if we you get uh, get some kind of in a hint or identify a problem. So, the first requirement is you know uh, requirement is just see whether there is any such kind of you know fast you know problem like uh, you know sol solve problem like this. So, that means, you can have some kind of you know quick solution there right. So, that is why so, uh, if some quick solution are there and uh, the problem can be solved there by this you know availability then you can solve if not then you know then you have to put to some kind of you know 
add-ons right so the add-ons may be some analytics or some variables or some kind of you know constants or something like that so then you know you can process like this so then you know uh, uh, revoke the previous findings then uh, you model properly then uh, on the basis of you know molding then in order to go for in-depth kind of you know uh, structure or you know investigation you need actually informations to collect you know information that is what we call as you know data then you go for you know data analysis that you know further you know uh, some kind of you know better informations so that you know you are in a position to take some kind of you know good decision or you know better decisions then once you analyze the data then you have to actually uh, come with some kind of you know results and on the basis of you know results so you will get some kind of you know inference or then accordingly you can take some kind of you know actions right so now on the basis of this actions so the management decisions can be take uh, you know taken and then uh, you are in a, a position to hit the wall as per the requirement well, the question is you know why business analytics so we have actually two different approaches altogether so uh, like you know the subject itself will give you the structure like you know analytics 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 but if not analytics then what it's called as actually what non analytics so we have we can solve a particular problems uh, without using actually analytics tools like uh, you know descriptive analytics predictive analytics and prescriptive analytics so we have a structure what we call as you know non analytical approach the techniques like you know delphi technique grounded theory are still there actually to solve uh, similar kind of you know problems uh, uh, through some kind of you know experts opinions or some kind of you know discussions right so these are ways we can actually uh, solve the problems but but uh, you know uh, the solution through analytical approach is always actually uh, 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 better and this will be more authentic more reliable and so far as the validation is concerned it will be at the highest rate. Of course, I, I, uh, I am not in the same times committing to the non analytical approach, but uh, still, you know, uh, non, uh, in the other sides, when you are, you know, looking for solution by Delphi technique or grounded theory, it is usually through experts opinion. But actually, uh, actual fact is that, you know, uh, without having sufficient information and technique, so sometimes it may be not in a position to take, you know, better decision, particularly, you know, uh, the business problem that to in a complex kind of you know, environment, it is not so easy actually uh, to get some kind of you know, better decision uh, uh, as per the particular you know, requirement. So, that is why the whole idea is actually to justify that you know analytical approach is always you know better choice and this is you know uh, the high requirement for any kind of you know uh, uh, business problem and that to in a a complex business environment or you know dynamic business environment the business itself is a very dynamics and some of the constants and you know conditions are you know very challenging so you uh, and that to in a competitive environment uh, it's very difficult to you know deal actually with just you know a non analytical approach it's not so easy actually to address the problem if it is a problem is very simple very uh, what you can call as a very simple and you know uh, within a particular you know control then you can address this through uh, non analytical approach but an analytical approach is always have a you know challenging kind of anything of course when we use actual analytical approach so the task is much higher than the non analytical approach you have to go in depth then you have to collect data analyze data use software so all, all these process will be always there but still see, you know since you are putting more and more and more efforts then obviously the results cannot be cannot be just like that. So, it will be definitely it will be much, much attractive and as per the uh, best you know uh, requirement. This is the difference between actually analytical approach and you know non analytical approach. So, now I am just connecting with a simple example decide to buy a car right. So, now uh, you, you have to just you know uh, purchase a car and with respect to you know uh, with respect to a particular requirement then you know sometimes you know uh, how the problem can be generated so when you are using the car then you know this these are the uh, structure through which you can pro start the process but actually i like to highlight here so why you need actually analytics so now after purchasing the cars uh, uh, after a years so you will you will find you know there are you know issues and started complaining so now 
so uh, what I mentioned that you know analytics starts with you know diagnostics that is what we call as a diagnostic analytics. So, now so once you uh, once you uh, you know start complaining so that means the issue started actually. So, that is how you have to explore what what are the ways you can actually look for the solutions. So, the first questions you can address is you know uh, uh, since complaint is there. So, with respect to you know expenditure on fuel or you know mileage this, this is actually one of the most important objective when you uh, when you take a decision to purchase a car. So, did your you know office is further now than one year earlier like this job changes if any if the car is giving lower mileage than expected like this you know these are all things actually you know some of the issues are you know hinted and then we are looking for the kind of you know solution. It is actually kind of you know search process and the search process something can be streamlined and can be materialized with the help of you know business analytics. So, that means technically the best advantage uh, th through using business analytics is like that using data to drive decisions uh, uh, deliver a significantly higher chance of you know making a good long lasting decision over non data driven approach that is what I like to actually submit here. So, so far as you know the distinction between uh, analytic and non analytic approach is concerned. So, it, it is actually a uh, some kind of you know uh, uh, requirement likewise actually. So, there are many different areas where business applications can be applied like you know managing knowledge from big data analytics in a new product development. Uh, uh, market segmentations, uh, uh, you know, like you know, say targeting customers, all these things, predict security threats, uh, predictive support through sponsor, machine generated data, uh, companies can identify, uh, you know, all these kind of, you know, uh, problems and as per their, you know, requirement and understanding and optimizing the business process, all these things are, you know, actually the different kind of, you know, structure through which actually you like to start the challenge and you know dig the kind of you know requirement. And some of the standard you know examples like this you know let us say in a retail kind of you know decisions uh, most of the most of the cases you know we, we like to actually know what should be the pricing strategy, what should be the selling strategy. So, whether you like to means how to control the sales and uh, what are the variables through which you can control the sales how price can play a role. If you increase the price or decrease the price, how sales can be a, a changing or you can reach the goal. So, that means, it is not actually the easy task. For instance, you know some of the instances you know price increase can in enhance your you know objective or you know for instance enhancing profit or revenue. Sometimes, price decrease may, may, can, may uh, give some kind of you know better results. So, that means, it is, in, it is not actually a simple ones in a simple understanding you may not in a position to address all these things. So, through analytical approach or business analytics tools you can come to a particular position and you can take a right decisions and as per the requirement it cannot just like that actually. So, whether you like to follow the price increasing policy or price decreasing policy to, uh, to reach you know uh, uh, or to get more revenue or more profit. So, there should be some kind of you know uh, what I called as you know analytical kind of you know approach and that to have a some kind of you know perfect you know model through which you know you can perfectly take a decisions. Otherwise, you know uh, your decision may be somehow you know uh, different and it, it will affect your you know business process altogether. So, these are you know various scopes uh, through which again business analytics can be applied and before I conclude I will let ju I will just highlight you know these are the areas through which actually uh, uh, you know you can apply different strategies for, for you know business analytics. Uh, so, these uh, standard five things I, I, am I am supposed to address here uh, competing on analytics, competing with analytics, improving with analytics, and then revenue through analytics, then preserving through uh, analytics. So, that means what I can say that you know uh, so, uh, so these are the you know points which I am you know uh, putting. You would like to read and understand. So then you can understand the beauty of this particular you know uh, uh, area or this beauty of this particular you know subject. That's what called as you know business analytics. So that means you know what I can say that you know 
business analytics can do anything. So, as per your you know, requirement, if you properly understand, you must have a data and you can connect with you know proper technique. If you could uh, if you could do that, then obviously your problem definitely have a some kind of you know solutions as per your you know requirement. Uh, there is no other you know kind of you know I can say alternative through which you can take a better management decisions. So, business analytics has a kind of you know uh, has a very important roles for predicting your you know management decisions. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.